the same age. Okay, this was a kindergarten class on West Park, 1120 West Park. 1115. Okay. 11 uh, when we lived on Park Street, uh, Gene Fogarty on the left, then me and Tommy Prisk and Dale and Ms. Uh, Gallagher taking the, the cabin someplace, but uh, they were just... Okay, Butter Driscoll and Miss Gallagher. I sure hope that was her name. That's the way I remember it. Gallagher obviously taken when he was playing football at, at uh, Creighton University. Pictures in the shape of the football. What's he looking at? He was going to college probably at Creighton University around 1919, I'd say. Must have been wintertime. Butter Driscoll at Creighton University. Ms. Gallagher. Um, the ever present Ms. Gallagher, who nobody will tell me anything about. Was this taken or when? Or? I think that had to be around 1919, the same time as he was going to school. He had baseball teams that was taken up at the Columbia Gardens. The only one in the whole picture I know is my dad in the back row. Team? Yeah. But it was, you know, it wasn't it? Just butte faces, huh? When do you think? About 19. About 1918 at the Columbia Gardens in Butte. Quarterback at the University of Montana. This is the littlest guy and the biggest guy on the team, Dad, and Chris Binns. Fritz, 135 pounds. Chris Binns weighed 235 pounds. Compare it. Butter Driscoll and Chris Benz. This is Butter Driscoll, a quarterback, University of Montana, Blitzer Benz, who went on to play in the NFL. Lillahan and his wife, Stella. Stella had been a, a Driscoll at one time. Not related? Now this is one more picture of Ms. Gallagher and her boyfriend, Butter Driscoll. His girlfriend, I don't know, the guy in the middle. And Ms. Gallagher and Dad. Okay. A band uniform, and I know he never played in bands, but uh, maybe he did it for a short period. And Dad, and I don't know who the other lady might be, probably Bing Rooney, kissing the girl there. Bing Rooney on the right, and uh, Dad and Miss Gallagher in the middle, and I don't know the two on the left. Bing Rooney, Miss Gallagher, Butter. And again, yeah, the only ones I know is Dad in the middle, and Miss Gallagher. Picnic taking place out in the country, and Dad is in the front with the straw hat. And I think that's Stella Colahan next Miss Gallagher again. Looks like she's got some nice clothes. Gallagher, who obviously had a crush on Dad, but Gallagher up in, uh, uh, says it was taken up in Vancouver, uh, B.C. Her sweater taken at uh, Great University in about 1919. Butter Driscoll with the Creighton University letter sweater about 1919. Butter, uh, my dad in the middle, some of the people that he went to school with down at Creighton University. One of his teammates down at Creighton University uh, holding a couple of the local kids over on their shoulders. Notice the part in the middle of his hair. Yeah. Creighton University, 1919. And from the left with a bunch of the girls that went to school at Creighton University when he did. Obviously those guys got with uh, one of the many girls that he went out with at Creighton University. I don't have any idea who she is. There's no idea. One of the girls at Creighton, and he, I don't think this were her, I don't think he ever wore glasses. How about cigarettes? He, you think he's hamming it up and never yeah, smoked, huh? I think so. Did he ever smoke a cigar? I think he did smoke at, at one time, but it was another one of the girls that he, he met at Creighton University. No ID on any of these pictures. Had with one of the girls at Creighton. I suspect this was all on one one big party that they were having. The girls at Creighton. So I'm sure that all of these were the girls that they partied with when they got out of class. A quartet that was uh, playing in uh, Portland back in the days when Dad was going to school over there. Third from the left is identified on the back of this picture by my mother as Bing Crosby. The picture what Graham wrote on a John Driscoll, Bing Crosby. Al uh, Rinker. Harry Barnes and Al Rinker. A butter in that quartet shot. 
close-up of the one Graham says is Bing Crosby. Could be. Butter Driscoll and Bing Crosby together, if that is the Bing Crosby we know about. Uh, Butter Driscoll and Eddie Price, probably they were singing for the Elks or one of those outfits to, uh, I think, 1922. series of about four or five pictures that were taken by Zubik Art Studios for uh, 1930s, probably about 1937. Butter Driscoll, probably about 1937, promotional photo. The quartets, Dad, Leo Pelletier, Bing Rooney, and Mervyn Dempsey. But, uh, 1937, around there somewhere. I can read. Butte's famous quartet of the 20s and the 30s. This was uh, uh, Bing Rooney on the left, Babe uh, Maloney, Butter Driscoll, and Ray Layeth. Ray Layeth. Her shop singing was fun before Dan says it became a hassle. Ray Layeth on the. In that series of uh, portraits that were taken by Frank Zubik uh, for. Uh, Promotional hits: Bing Rooney, uh, Babe Maloney, Butter Driscoll, and uh, Ray Layeth back in the 1930s. Babe Maloney. Times. This is not Babe Maloney, it's Mervyn Dempsey. Merv Dempsey, okay. Bing Rooney, uh, Mervyn Dempsey, Butter Driscoll, and uh, Ray Layeth in the 1930s. Um, a trio that sang at the American Theater back in the 30s, uh, Emmett Sullivan, Butter Driscoll. And okay, the third guy, the one on the right, was Austin Middleton. Yeah. Okay. He took a lot of photos, and then uh, Emmett Sullivan. Rose. Okay, Emmett Sullivan was a songwriter for that helped Butter with Sentimental Rose. He also managed the American Theater. The original Columbia Gardens Pavilion that was built up on the hill, and it burned down. It was the one that burned down, and they moved it down, facing this lake, uh, facing the west. Butter was to put a boat on, and people would get in it and ride it down that chute onto the lake and go halfway across the lake before. It's across the front of the pavilion at the Columbia Gardens. Mm -hmm. The roller coaster uh, at the Columbia Gardens after the first place burned down. This is the one that people dressed to go out to the Columbia Gardens. Most of them got out there by trolley and uh, a few of them were lucky in a pavilion. The little building in the front is the, the bandstand which was a gazebo they built in the front there. It was taken on minor un Miners Union Day because there was a big table across the middle of the picture. The uh, feeder now is facing towards the north. When it burned down, they rebuilt it down here by the foot of this lake. Uh, facing. Okay, the new pavilion faced west and the lake became a parking lot. The gardens, it was lit up very well and in use just about all of the time. The gardens after they got some foliage growing up there and uh, a little while before the fire. It be uh, something like the 4th of July celebration or else Miners Union's Day when there was a lot of peat gardens lit up at night time. Very very popular place. Building in, in process of being built. This is the federal building and the post office. And in front of this was more float that went around town trying to raise money for them to build a YMCA back in the 1920s. The man in the middle is Dolph Heilbronner. I worked for him when I was in high school. The trolley is it went east on uh, East Granite Street on West Granite Street, about the 300 block. Streets weren't even paved yet. That better Driscoll when he was quarterbacking for Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska, in about 1919. Better Driscoll, quarterback, Creighton University, Omaha, 1919. Montana football team from the Fritz Benz on the left. Better Driscoll is uh, fourth. Uh, Steve Sullivan in the middle by Dad. Uh, Swede Dahlberg on, on Dad's left. Football team in 1924 when Dad uh, coached them to victory over the, all the other teams. The six Dublin Gulls team, which was also a winning team that year, the championship team. The seven uh, Dublin Gulls team. I don't think they think they won the championship that year, but that was when Dad was still coaching. This is the little atlas that uh, Butter Driscoll and his son Jack Driscoll used to 
but they plan to communicate. And there's the map of the world they were going to put the pins in. That's a six inch rule.